actually working some time. They actually have to create back and install Webman on your PS3 and custom firmware. So let's get started. For this video, you're gonna need a USB drive. I recommend a hard drive or an SSD that's big because the games are big. And yeah, your computer, your PS3, your phone, your controller. So yeah, let's take a USB drive and go over to the computer. Okay, so we are on the computer. I'm using the same USB drive I was using for my last video. So now we're going to find, we're going to need to download two apps, Webman, Moth, and Multiman for this to work. I'm going to include both of these in the link in the description. So yes, now I got here plan for to run this garden warfare, but I'm not going to be providing the links to these ones because for legal reasons. So it should look like this. This should be the structure. So now we just need to go here and make a new folder. We're going to call it games. All uppercase. There we go. Now we just need to put these two packages over here. And now we need to transfer the game to this folder called games. And, and it's very simple. You can do this with all of your games. You just need to find these ROMs. It might take a while depending on the size of your game. Okay, guys, that was a bit of a waiting, but now it's done. So, sorry it took so long, but yeah, let's copy it. Here are the packages. Now we need to eject the USB drive and put it. The PSD and the right mouse USB port. Okay, now that we're at the the PS3, we need to go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and here are Multiman and Webman mods. So let's click on them, and we can in install them that way. They install pretty quickly because they're very small. They're like 40 megabytes. So yeah. Now let's install Webman. Hold on. Oh yeah, I installed them already. And here are Multiman and Webman. Now let's install Webman. You need to hold L1 to install the full version. So you can use all the things. You don't actually need Multiman for the free games if you have Webman, but Webman is, no, Multiman is use for different stuff too and after it resets your fan is gonna speed up don't worry that's normal 
Now we go to Webman Games, Webman Setup, and Crispin Webman Setup. We need to go here. And now we're going to change this to, let's do it 60. And I'm going to remind you, I do 40 percent fan speed. And now if you're using like cheats and some games, this needs to be enabled. Just telling. And now you need to click on save. But I won't reset my PS2 because it remembered. If you don't want to open Webman, you can just click on games. And if you ask PVZ, you just click this. Don't worry. It might speed up more, but this is normal because we just installed it. It's probably going to explode. Okay, now loading Webman. No Webman, Hawkman. I always con confuse the two. Multiman is with his bonus. Can you? There we go, there's Maltman. And now, here's PVC. Just click on that. And wait for it to load. And here's PVC. Just click that. And we just wait. Not synchronizing the trophy. And yes, PZ Garden Warfare. It's actually one of my favorite PS3 games. I'm actually gonna quit. Because now that we have Webman, I want to teach you a very new trick to keep your PS3 cool up. So you need to press the two sticks, the two analog sticks together, and it should be. And yes, here you can see on the top left corner, I can see the degrees. The CPU, the GPU, the RSX, the RAM, FPS, the firmware, and that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.